Welcome back. Uh, this is the episode where we're going to try to get this 56 running. Uh, it's Wednesday after Christmas now, and uh, Cal went ahead and got a bunch of stuff from Santa Claus for Christmas. A bunch of um, like a battery cutoff switch. We got his positive and negative terminals. He's got some uh, Patriot inch and three quarter headers, tri five headers for this. Uh, a lot of other things, kill, uh, startup switch panel, lots of things like that that we needed to finish up this build. Some trans lines as well. So we're going to go ahead and try to get all the stuff done up here that's on this list. By Saturday afternoon is when I normally go in and edit videos. So we'll see and bear with us and hopefully we're running this in this episode. So to start this out, I'm going to be in the back mounting up the battery, uh, the kill switch, and the battery terminal post, and the rear bumper. Dad's up front. He's going to be working on getting the alternator and water pump switched over, getting coolant lines figured out uh, the rest of the way. We've got them almost there. So uh, here we go. It's the end of day two of us kind of grinding on this for this week's video. Um, yesterday we ended up and I wanted to mount this bumper so that I could mount the jumper cable post to it. And I thought I was going to do the kill switch to it, but we went ahead and put the kill switch right below the passenger side tail light um, just to keep things off the bumper. It's nice and solid. Works good. So now we've got 
the battery uh, tray box all mounted up uh, mounted directly to the frame as well so that's a plus um, we got the headers painted yesterday got those mounted up today and then my dad finished up all the um, pulley assembly had to make a couple shims and things so that all the pulleys lined up uh, properly for the alternator brackets that are all custom made and it's just going in the right direction we've got a lot of the big things done now so uh, crossing a few things off the list here today and uh, tomorrow we'll get cranking on some wiring and see what else we can do. It's day three. Uh, this is Saturday. So we started just doing some work after working all day um, during the week. So today we're getting a full day. We got out here early. I didn't show any of this because the wiring is kind of boring to watch us sit here and just twist wires around. So we've got um, the power and ground wires coming through the floor back to the battery post. We've got the kill switch mounted over there and we've got power running to the alternator and the starter from that kill switch. It's a four post kill switch. Um, so we're running an alternator on this car, so you do have to run a wire from one of the small posts. I don't know, it's all confusing, but we took what we did from my truck and we applied it to this one. Um, and all the wires are ran up. We got ground wires from the engine to the frame, battery to the frame. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set this down now. we got to wire up the fuel pump and some ignition stuff, and we should be able to fire this up. Enough of the boring stuff. It's been a few long days, but we got a lot of the main wiring done. Uh, the switch panel is not wired up inside, blinkers, anything like that. Uh, we're going to hook some, some wires together with some clips and uh, just get this thing to fire. It's getting later in the day already, so all this stuff takes time, and hopefully we'll be able to hear it fire up here in a second, and uh, next episode maybe we'll even get to drive it down the road. So. Um, with that being said, it's time to push this thing out and try to fire it up. All right, Cal, push this baby out. Let's see what we got. Get over there? Yeah, that's clear. Hey, look, another gasser. All right. What's that? Um, Two Tri-5 gassers right outside. Got mics. Got Cal's. Let's see what this thing's made of, Cal. Okay, let's turn the power on and see if this thing runs over or not. Oh, it fired right up. Holy smokes.
That's why I was backfiring. The uh, timing light's not working, so we've got it pretty close, obviously, because it fired right up, but uh, that's got a little backfire to it, so we've got to get our timing light working, and then we'll adjust from there. Pull all the paint right off and right away, bro. Woo! Smoking hatters. What do you think, Cal? First reaction? Sounds good. It does. It sounds real nice. Besides a little backfire. It's going to turn your uh, white header paint like yellow. It'll look pretty sweet. All that money you spent on that high expensive VHT paint. <laughs> all gone. Just checked all our fuel fittings. Make sure we have no leaks. And try to start it up again. See if the kill switch shuts everything down or not. Well, now we know that the kill switch works, so that, with our wiring disaster we have in there, we didn't have a way to shut it off, so we'll just kill it with the kill switch for now. Uh, we're going to start it up, check the timing again, and uh, hopefully we can get it to idle and thump around for a little bit. See if the timing light works this time. It was working. Turn your fans on, too. Dad's hitting the leaf blower session in there. Keeping the garage clean. Um, so we got the car to run. That was the main objective for this episode. Um, got a lot of the main wiring done. We've got to wire up the switch panel so the push button start and everything works. So uh, it ended up, it fired up pretty good. We got the timing right around where we want it. Um, timing light was giving us a little crap so um, obviously we're going to do this on a different day when it's not freezing cold and getting dark out here. Uh, we've got some fuel leaks in the back by the pump that we got to address and uh, check trans fluid, uh, make sure that there's enough coolant in the radiator, all those things. But we don't want to do that while rolling around in the wet, muddy gravel out here. So we're going to push it inside and call that an episode for the day. And uh, yeah, the car runs. Hopefully next time we're driving it down the street. So stay tuned.